one. Uh, good morning, SMF MMTs. Friday jobs report. Today's date, 12-3 of 2010. And basically, prior to the number being released uh, 29 minutes ago, is we had a gap up here to 143. As MMTs were being taught, this is a bull. And how to short that bull in pre-market, how they use the pre-market futures. Let's take a look at some other ones. They had this one up as high as 573.50, 574. They had this one up here. 319 and they were selling short ahead of that number within minutes as soon as the number came out it's not what people were looking for um, I'm not going to get into the actual unemployment number other than it wasn't what they were looking for and basically you can see lots of gap downs FCX was up there at 108 they were raising these numbers as soon as they got them up there they sold short the number because they'd artificially artificial price gap means that they use the futures to pop the price movement and then that gives them a free pass to get short with little or risk because they weren't shorting here at the close no they were shorting at 143 and some change two dollars above it and I pointed it out to the MMTs quite clearly 571.82 down to 566, 567, Dow futures are negative 62, S&P is down 810, 8.10, 8 um, the NASDAQ futures that were slightly positive, they popped them up to being positive for prior to the number, now they're down 14 and a half handles in the NASDAQ futures market, and when the futures go down, bingo the bull is the opposite it gets tanked now let's take a look at some of these other names here SQQQ here it is closes at 3281 has a slight gap doesn't trade nearly the price volatility as the bull does but when you take a look at the SPY the spiders right here are being sold off they don't move a lot, but that's a pretty good move. That's 56 pennies down. They had raised those up and sold those short. Another one that really doesn't move a lot, but they're all entertained together, is right here. 53.73 is a close, and these are going down. And, of course, the one that is the most predominant will be this TQQ bull that's related to the NASDAQ 100 and the NASDAQ futures as well. That's the association, that's the identity, and the association is that pre-market futures. Okay, so what we will be doing is that on the volatility trade, on the left elbow gap down, as we all know what that is, because we've done them our whole life. That's where that big gap down comes. They come in, they buy it, they run it up. Sometimes they'll run them to the neckline, if not even a little bit higher in volatility, and then bam. The shorts come right back in again. What we'll be looking for in the SMF trading platform is it will guide the people who need to be guided as the relevancy of the actual price momentum. Okay. Now, it's going to take an act of Congress to come out with a special announcement today to talk about and or now would be the perfect time if they do do it. I wouldn't hold my breath on it. But however, what they would have to do is come out today and give a resolution around the tax benefits that need to stimulate the workforce. That's where the stimuluses need to be focused. Because without that being done correctly, there is never going to be any job creation, but rather deterioration. Therefore, therefore, the people that live in the U.S., just remember, you're the one that voted and put them into office. And the people that live in the state of Nevada, you're the one that voted for that Reed character that's been destructive. 
and the people that live in the San Francisco district, you re-voted for Pelosi, and you put failure right back in there. And this is what America gets. They get this. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, people are not very bright about understanding the world they live in. Because if they did, they wouldn't have re-voted and, and, and put all of these uh, people that haven't done the right thing and wouldn't have been voted again. But I don't think the American society has had enough torture. Maybe one day they'll get to a point where they just won't accept it and they'll start voting the right way and getting the right people in there to do the job. So, we are going to take advantage of that left elbow gap down. Just as they shorted the futures up, there'll be a volatility trade off that bottom for a nice little profit. And they'll wind them up. But here's the key. When they come off the bottom, they got to go, if there's going to be momentum, it's going to have to go at 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Then that bullish tone for the last couple of days is how are they going to wear off this negative event and how they're going to wear off this negative futures tape in pre-market. The market's going to open up in 25 minutes from now. So basically they're going to have to come out today if they do not. If it's not today but within a few days into next week if they do not come to a resolution and take the uncertainty off and stimulate the right thing with these uh, tax, uh, Bush tax cuts and all of that. But there are several other ways of doing things that would actually stimulate the right pieces of this recession. And it's always going to get down to the last core ingredient. And that core ingredient is stimulating the people who hire the workforce they will hire and the thing about it is is until these changes happen until these changes happen these markets remain extremely vulnerable not only that do you have a bad number there but you're overbought in a lot of names that have ran in anticipation, the markets ran in anticipation of a good number here, and you can see exactly what you're getting. However, we will take it, and we will take this news, we will take it, and we will put it into a trade, and we'll make some profits from it. That's what we'll do. And we'll take advantage of the headline news. Also, their failure is your profit. And basically, the more they fail, uh, something's going to give within the tape. They're going to have to come out and get the resolution fixed. And they have it's not about months. It's about hours and days now. And that's how it's going to be ending the month of December of 2010. If there is a resolution... And they do do the right thing. We will abruptly see stock prices break higher and break out. If they don't, the last two days they came in on the first and the second. Today's the third. And they bought up all of the market. And that was broad base. And it was pretty good heavy buying across the board. Short covering and natural buying going on at the same time. However, we're going to slide that bit. We're going to come off that bottom. We're going to take that trade up for what it's willing to give. And when it fails, we'll sell short and go long. And we're going to dissect down the actual price action momentum. And that's the pre-market. Um, another thing that I can show very quickly. Once again, we've gone over this every single day of where people were buying and what that broader market looked like but we also clearly stated that you are going to have to have some good things that are going to have to happen 
and that if they don't, well, guess what? Market could be in trouble and people could be disappointed. And when we look at the gap open down, this is your gap open down on the NYSE. Here's your little overbought Chipotle Mexican grill. They ran a lot of these equities up so high. There's no true valuation in some of these equity bloated prices. So what's going to happen is the investor who doesn't know what they're doing, they're not educated. They don't know when they're going to get hit by a Mack truck. Here it is. There's your Mack truck. That's your gap down list on the NYSE. This one up here leading the way because it's so overbought and hyped up. Uh, some of the other things in pre-market, um, we're going to be watching the S&P 500, the U.S. indices, NASDAQ components. We're going to be doing everything that we do on a daily basis. And basically, doesn't look good for the bulls, but we're going to make some nice trades out of it. So when I go to the uh, over-the-counter stocks, which is a NASDAQ, I'm going to look at the gap open down. And here's your gap open down. Google, Priceline, the bull, the Apple, the Amazon, the First Solar, the FFIV, the Cree, the Baidu, the Win. The REM technology, the Broadcom, semiconductors in here too. And it's not a huge gap down list because now what's going to end up happening is they're going to come out and try to talk up the bad news. It's failure. There ain't nothing to talk about it. It is what it is. Let's face the reality. So the Bulls have got some work to do. And, well, the bears could be in a really good spot because these equities ran up to overbought levels in anticipation of a good earnings report. Now, MMTs, what we're going to do today, we're going to buy that left elbow gap down. We're going to take it up. We're going to sell it. The minute that it rolls over and that momentum isn't there where they're weak, every time it's roll up, roll over, roll up, roll over, you've seen enough of it in the three-week reversal in November, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So there are plenty of trades here on that intraday opening bell movement to make a profit. And not only that, make your day a good day. And not only that, those government failures and all of that is now they're going to have to come out and get off the sideline. Maybe this is a good thing because now they're going to come off uh, and have to do something that they have not been willing to do. So basically, that's what I got to say about the pre-market. <laughs>